point of view of iPass, a good gun to start off with is uh, something like the CP88 or the CP99 or the Beretta 92F. Um, all of them are good guns. Um, this one I've got uh, personal experience with, in actual fact, this is the first uh, CO2 gun I ever bought uh, after the 1997 ban. Um, it's a good little gun, it's got a six inch barrel with a, like a pseudo compensator on the end. Uh, it's very good for small hands, this. Uh, trigger, the trigger pull is rather long, um, but don't let that put you off. It's a good, accurate, relatively powerful uh, little gun, the Beretta 92F. Again, a nice little gun, heavier than the CP88. Grips are slightly bigger, but it shoots well. Accurate little gun. Both of these are in 177 pellet. Also, you've got uh, the CP99. You don't see many of these on the iPass circuit. I don't know why, um, but uh, most people tend to favor the CP88, the Smith & Wesson Revolver, the Colt 1911, or the 92 Beretta. All these pistols, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, are all what they call double action. Uh, in other words, you have to squeeze the trigger and the hammer or striker sets and then drops and fires the shot, okay? Uh, this is the Tank Folio Limited Edition, um, or limited gun, should I say. Nice little gun, this, all made out of all metal construction, good weight to it, um, relatively accurate, fun to shoot, um, nice gun. I would probably favor this over the Tank Folio Whittens or Swiss Arms. Finally, there's the Umarex Colt CO2. Um, this is my gun. Um, it's quite heavily modified, as you can see. It might look like a semi-automatic, but uh, as everybody knows, these are double action. So as you squeeze the trigger, the hammer goes back. So they're actually a revolver. I think the 1911, with a bit of work on it, is the best setup. For more information about the three on-site ranges, or for the latest air rifles and pistols, visit Ronnie Sunshines in Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire, or online shop ronniesunshines.com.